Hello everybody and welcome to Chubbs Reviews and also welcome to my first ever first impressions video. Um, usually I don't review games on time when they first come out, uh, but The Outer Worlds happens to be the very rare case that I do. Uh, Death Stranding will probably also get a first impressions video. And I would, I've decided to do these type of videos to where like a day, like a day after the game has came out and I've sat and played it uh, to just record myself and give you guys my uh, first opinions on it. Um, this video is kind of late compared to how I'd like to do this uh, a full 24 hours or so after the game's release. Well, it's, it's been, it's, it's midnight when I'm recording this, so, uh, and the game came out at 11 o'clock the night before at where I'm at uh, yesterday, so... Uh, about 25 hours from when the games came out, and I've sat and played it pretty much since then. I've, I've slept in between then, but other than that, I've just sat and played this game. Um, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna talk about any spoilers or anything like that. Nothing major. I'm not even that far into the game. I don't think. Uh, I'm third plan. I'm going to the third planet, but I, I've been through three areas. Um, a lot of uh, stuff has already happened. A lot of characters I've met. So yeah, just first impressions. This shouldn't be too long. Just quick down. Should I? Should you guys play this game? Should you buy this game? Wait for a sale, rent, whatever. You know, you know that title of videos. Uh, personally, I think this game deserves a buy if you can't wait for Death Stranding uh, in two weeks from now. But if you're uh, if you're seeing this video later or you're not even interested in Death Stranding, you might as well buy this game. This is the best new role playing game out there, in my opinion, so far, uh, with some of the greatest. Uh, character building and character cast group of people you've come across. I already have four companions in the game, um, or crew members, and I feel like it, it's so you can only have two people out there with you at a time. It's so hard to choose who you want out there. They're all just so cool. The dialogue's funny. I, I thought this game was going to be more silly than it was funny, and no, it's actually funny and less silly. Um, I mean, it's got silly moments, but it's really kind of serious and it's funny. It's you know it's funny serious at times, uh, but they really did a great job. Obsidian, the Fallout successors. This is really one of my first uh, role playing games. I think I've really ever sat and played. Uh, I didn't play Skyrim. I know what Skyrim is, and I've seen people play it. My brother played it his whole life, pretty much. Um, I know what Fallout is, but I've never sat and played a Fallout game before ever. I want to go play Fallout Four, but why should I when you got the Outer Worlds here? And this game looks amazing and has played great so far. Um, I'm not sure what my final rating will be. You'll have to see in my review coming out whenever I finish this game and sit and make a review. I think it'll probably take me a week to beat this game. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how far I am in it already. I feel like I'm just not even even scratched the surface of all the planets and everything, all the other problems going on. I haven't seen the repercussions of my actions or the choices I've made yet at all. Um, I don't know if I'm doing good or bad, but... I haven't really chose any role to play. I'm just playing as me, and I'm generally a pretty good person. So I'm I'm trying to be a hero, but things aren't always black and white. It seems in this in this, which I really love. I I, don't, I hate to, I hate easy decisions. You know, like it shouldn't be so easy to be a hero. I know there's one big decision at the end people have talked about that will probably be just are you a hero or a villain. But um, besides that, there's so many other decisions and things you affect. It just so early in this game, it's nuts. To think about, like, you don't even have to bring these crew members on your crew. And to think that, like, you could just not have this person with you sometimes. Like, since the beginning of the game, you could have not brought them with you. Like, that's a nuts, nuts concept to me. Um, but yeah, so far this game's been great. I, I would say uh, it's 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 as hyped, it's as good as it's been hyped. Um, no lags, bugs, glitches, really, it, so far has lost all, like, has no connection to follow when it comes to the bugs and glitchiness of that um it just plays like a smoother perfect version of that um and the pan companions are awesome great writing so far uh I'm, I'm excited to review this game and it's full when i get to the end of the game and i'm not like i said i feel like i haven't even scratched the service yet but it's a good game so far um yeah thank you guys so much for watching my first first impressions video uh, there shouldn't be many of these, but here's a quick one for you. Um, I know Call of Duty came out the same day as this game. Get this game over the new Call of Duty, please. <laughs> Shout out to one of my friends who did uh, choose the Outer Worlds over Call of Duty. But yeah, everyone else should do the same. This is a good game. Thanks. Please like, comment, subscribe.